Well, let's lift our hands to the Most High God. I'm praise Him. Give Him glory and honor. He's worthy to be praised. He's the great I am. I am that I am. The unchangeable changer. All power belong to him. When he opens, nobody can shut. When he shuts, no man can open. When he kills, nobody can make a life. And when he makes a life, nobody can kill. Is the beginning of all beginnings. The end of all endings. Praise him. Hey. Give him glory, give him honor. If you go at your life, he loves you, so praise him. Oh, fair and rare, need to renown ye. Worship him tonight. Let him hear your voice. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Shion. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ni Urukola, Jesus, like Badura. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Amen. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all We give you all the glory. We give you all Jesus. We give you all the glory. of days we give you all the glory alpha and omega alpha to omega we give you all the glory the beginning and the ending we give you all the glory thank you for january thank you for february thank you for march thank you for april thank you for may thank you for june thank you for july thank you for august thank you for october thank you for november and oh god thank you for december Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Father, we are here tonight. Baba, We are trembling in hope. Somehow. Back on We know that. This day is going to make a major difference in our life. Amo, we pray a lay you ja let us shake pataki. So die ya to ba to shake bogi ni no a ye wa. And all we are asking on tia simberi is that to glorify your name. Oni ki a shara y logo lua. Do what you alone can do. In Jesus' mighty name. 
we have prayed. Ni orukon la Jesu la gbadura. Amen. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Ki enikan ki hallelujah. Okay, you may be seated. E je ki ajoko. Except those who are born in the month of December. I fear I want to be in the new year. If you are born in the month of December, let me hear you shout hallelujah. My father, my God, I commit all your children born in the month of December into your hands. Thank you for all you've done for them thus far. Now, December is a end of the year. So I commit all these your children into your hands. Let them end well. Let them end strong. Let them end gloriously. In every area of their lives, Lord, let their end be better than their beginning. Give them a new beginning now of joy, of progress, of success. And let them serve you to the end. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Second King chapter 2. From verse 6 to 12. Second King chapter two, six to twelve. And one back eji, ori ikeji, esta ikefa, de ikeji la. This is uh, a story that is very, very important. It on reito shek bataki. That forms the foundation for this congress. E yitu je ikile ikbagoi. And you can read it from verse 1. But um, let's take it from verse 6. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee here, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. Elijah si wefun pe emi be o joko ni hi nitori to Oluwa ran mi si Jordan o si wi pe bi Oluwa tin be ati bi emi re tin be emi ki o fi o sile awon mejeji si jumo nlo and 50 men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off and they too stood by Jordan a doctor okunrin ninu awon omo woli si lo once he drew that he would look at it, and he would make it just to draw it about Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smoothed the waters, and they were divided either and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. Elijah said, "Mu agbadare, osi lu, osi lo lu, osi mu lu mina, osi kwa ni iya sihi ati sohu." And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. O si she, ni kba ti won kodaton, ni Elijah wifun Elisha kwe, pere, on ti e mi o she fun o, ki ato kba mi kuro, lo wo re, Elisha si wipe e mi be o, je ki ilo po meji e mi re, ki o ba le mi. And he said, thou hast a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. On si wipe, iwa be re onto shoro. Shubon, 
bi wo ba ri mi nigbati agba agba mi soke kuro lodo re yo ri be fun o sugbon bi be ko ki yo ri be and it came to pass as the sea went on and talked that behold there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up by a wild wind into heaven o si se bi won tin lo ti won soro si ki esi keke ina ati esin na si la arin awon mejeji Elijah si ba ajago ke re orun and Elijah saw it, saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. Elisha si ri, o si ki bepe, baba mi, baba mi, ke ke Israeli, a ti anwen le shire, o ko si ri imo, what is double portion? Normally, it is the inheritance that the father gives to the firstborn. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 21, from verse 15 to 17. Deuteronomy 21, 15 to 17. It is a commandment of the Lord. That when a father is distributing his uh, inheritance, the firstborn must get a double portion. Of course, when you go through the scriptures, you will discover not all the firstborn got it. Uh, Esau didn't get the double portion. Um, there was another situation in Genesis chapter 48. From verse 8 to 20. Genesis 48, 8 to 20. When God decided to transfer that double portion to the younger brother instead of the firstborn. The story about Ephraim and Manasseh. Ephraim and Manasseh. And then the first question that comes to our mind. Can I get it then? Since I'm not the firstborn of my parents. Well. Glory be to God. According to Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Romans 8, 29. Jesus Christ is the firstborn of our Father. And he got it. And Romans chapter 8, from verse 16 to 17, Romans 8, 16 to 17, the Bible may declare, if you are a child of God, then you are joined here with Jesus Christ. That means whatever Jesus got, you can get it also. So I'm believing God for somebody tonight that we are going to get a double portion. Uh, but I'm going to be very brief tonight. Because I, I, I don't want us to delay uh, that great moment. There's a lot that we can discuss about the double portion. 
As a matter of fact, it's likely to take us the whole of next year to finish the topic. The Holy Ghost services next year, the one in January will be wonderful, part one. The one in February will be wonderful, part two, and so on and so forth. And then the Sunday afternoon sermons. That we relate really, to you via uh, Dove Media. It's also going to be based on this issue of double portion. So if I'm brief tonight, it's because there is still a lot to come. Now, what do you need the double portion for? What does it do to you? If you, if you get it tonight, what are the things that will be the results? The, the, the first thing that it will do for you is that it will activate your potential. All the things that God has deposited in you that have been waiting for manifestation. The moment you get the double portion, even you will be amazed as you begin to see this thing manifest. You see, in 1 Kings chapter 19, from verse 19 to 21, 1 Kings 19, verse 19 to 21, the mantle of Elijah had fallen on Elisha before. Elisha was busy plowing. And Elijah was passing by. And he cast his mantle on him. But he took it back. And the moment that mantle touched Elisha that Day. It has been settled that this fellow will be the next prophet. But uh, Elisha waited more than three years before he finally got the mantle. May I prophesy to somebody tonight? Every prophecy that had ever come your way will become fulfilled from tonight. The second thing that will happen as soon as you get the double portion. It's like uh, Elisha. You soon be begin to see the invisible. God will begin to open your eyes. You begin to see marvelous things. You see, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 12. Proverbs 20, verse 12. It said, the, the, the hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made 
even both of them it's, that means there are eyes that cannot see no that they are blind they can't see spiritual things there are ears that cannot hear spiritual things and I'm believing God for you as a result of this Congress, you will begin to see the invisible. You will begin to hear the inaudible. And then the, the, the next thing that will happen if you get the double portion. Uh, you you find that from verse 13 to 15 of 2 Kings chapter 2. Verse 13 to 15. From verse 13 to 15. The Bible says of Elisha took the mantle that fell from Elijah. Went back to Jordan. Roll the cloth like his father did. Oh, see what? Oh, 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 yeah, Baba, rest she. And smoke the river. Oh, see, no, oh, do not, eh, can see. And suddenly, no, Gigi, the river parted. Oh, oh, do not, we are now. Uh, there are so many things here. Oh, Paul, I'm going to be in the Elisha has received power now. Elisha, the bag, but I need to see. Mighty power. Ag, but I'm la. He was on the wrong side of Jordan. Jordan Where his ministry was supposed to be is on the other side of Jordan. After he got that double portion. The number one obstacle to entering into his destiny was Jordan. And it parted that same day. In the name that's above every other name. That very destiny of yours. The very reason for which God created you. We begin to manifest after tonight. Amen. Yo beresini farahon. Lati oni lo. You cross over into your destiny. Amen. Wa wa rekoja lo sinu anyamore. Maybe for you to understand this I thought God wanted me to be a vice chancellor I thought God wanted me to be a vice chancellor that's what I wanted. I wanted to be the youngest vice chancellor in the world. In Africa. But that wasn't my destiny. My destiny is standing before you. I'm preaching his gospel. Several things had happened in my life that would never have happened if I, if I had remained on the other side of Jordan. I don't want to waste time telling stories tonight. But I had visited a nation before. And I wanted to see the head of state. And uh, they told me maximum 50 minutes. I said, that's enough. I just want to pray for him. I got there. 
After two hours, I had to beg him. Oh, Majesty, Your Excellency, your people are waiting. He said, Let them wait. I've heard of you. They have people they can talk to. I don't have. And I don't know when you are coming back. Now that you are here, <laughs> you must give me answer to my questions. Now that you must give me answer to my questions. After another one hour, finally I got, got away. All on our way to the car, I said to my wife, Who am I? But for Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, that the president will say, No, 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 you can't go. The purpose for which God made you after tonight you will enter into it. Amen. And then when he crossed River Jordan Suddenly, he joined a certain club of the high and mighty. He joined the club of Moses. Who crossed the Red he joined the club of Joshua. Joshua. Who crossed River Jordan? He joined the club of Elijah. Who has also crossed River Niger, uh, River Jordan. Whether you believe it or not. And I'm sure you are a believer. That's why you are here. Before, before very long. Like you know. You'll be dining with the high and mighty. You you And when I'm talking about the high and mighty. I'm not just talking about those in political power. I'm talking about the high and mighty spiritually. Those people you had the testimony of that little girl. I was dancing in my chair when she was testifying. Baby in the womb died. Mother died. And her own mother was look at you, you are the one who brought me to Christ. And the little girl said, God, don't, don't shame me. Oh, glory be to God. There is somebody here tonight. My God will see to it that you never know shame again. Amen. He joined the club of the high and mighty. And then, as he crossed that river, those who were his peers before. Sons of the prophets. Who were, <laughs> who were teasing him. Uh, Papa's favorite boy. Your father is going today. We will see what will become of you. They came and bowed. Ah, that is what you call 
supernatural accelerated promotion. He woke up that morning as a son of the prophet. By the time he was going to bed, he was a prophet. <laughs> the would have said something to you, but I'm afraid to say it. Because I'm, you know, I'm all, I have great respect for the prophets. Even though I know there are many of them who are liars. But I don't want that office. I'm, just, I'm satisfied with being a pastor. Because the office of a, of a prophet is a very dangerous one. The office I want to leave, the office is to leave if you say God said when God didn't say, then you come face to face with the Almighty God. But let me summon up courage and say that as a result of tonight's meeting, many prophets will arise among you. Amen. He woke up in the morning a son of the prophet. By night he was the prophet. All his peers came bowing down. In less than 24 hours, he takes God just a brief moment to cause you to excel far, far beyond the reach of your colleagues. By the time you return next year, you will have a testimony. One of my colleagues was speaking. Time. We were having a meeting. Far away from here. It was a very important meeting I had to attend. It wasn't easy for me. So I had to hire an helicopter to go. He said, Yes, we were classmates. Um, but we are not of the same class. He said a lot of us came here on land. You came by air. You are above us. I decree to somebody tonight. Very soon. Your peers will say. You are well, well above us. Amen. And then, not long after that, like something happened. You know, after he had crossed over to the other side of Jordan. In Second King chapter two. Ni oba keji ori keji. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord, the Lord said, "There is uh, a woman here." Olo nusu so wipe obere kambeni. He so said, "You have four daughters." Oni ama biri Mary. Uh, up to now, none of them is married. 
Ti ti libe a shin soro yi, ko si kankan nou an to ti loli oko. Daddy asked me to tell you. Daddy ni insof mwa. All four will be married next year. Amen. A wan mere ni, ni wan loli oko, lodi ton bo. In 2 King chapter 2, from verse 23 to 24, the Bible says as uh, Elisha was going on, was going on to Bethel. Some children began to mock him. Because he was bald-headed. So they were saying, bald headed man, get away from here, get away from here. Then he turned and issued a decree. He placed a curse on them. And just uh, as soon as he finished speaking, Two sheep here came out of nowhere. And, and silenced the mockers. By the time this night is over, one of the things you will be able to do. I might not remember to tell you to do it after we finish. But before you get into your vehicle, I will want you to make a decree that everybody, everything that has been mocking you will not be there when you get back home. Daddy asked me to tell somebody. Daddy, Nick, in soft way, Nick, he said, "Those who are pursuing you, look, I want you one layer. We run into a barricade of fire." Amen. We want to run to dinner. Now, when when he silenced the mockers, Nick, but he look, I want you one fish. Let me let no more. We see in action the, 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 the proclamation of God in Psalm 105 from verse 14 to 15 Psalm 105, 14 to 15 that's why where God said, Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. God demonstrated there that when you see someone under heavy anointing. You should be careful how you deal with them. Because they carry a power that is uh, like high tension Electricity wire. So that be wire na mana mana. After tonight, let lay ya lay. If any evil force, si agbara agbara ti okunku tries to touch you, to ba fe for work on, they will be fried. Amen. Wa jona guru guru. Like I said, we'll be discussing some details later in, in the new year. 
gege bi mo se so pe a o tun ma so lori e siwaju si lodun tin bo there's something beautiful even in that story o nkan wa re wa tin be ninu itan yen o it shows that when you are carrying this double portion anointing o sun mo si pe nigbati o ba ni ilopo meji ifami ororo yan yi for the rest of your life god will begin to outsmart satan e yi tun mo si pe gbogbo yoku ojo aye e olorun fun rara re yo ma je ki gbogbo ete satan o ja si pabo lori e you know satan was expecting somebody like elijah satan in reti elomi bi elijah to be the one who could possibly wait take over so je pe boya won lo ma tun gba ise lowo elijah but elijah was a hairy man sugbon elijah ni eni o je eni to nirun lara oh here all over his body head beard all over here gbo ara e patapata lokun fun irun and here comes a man sugbon eni yi wa de o elisha elisha he was even bald headed o ti e tun wa je apari you know when you have this double portion nigba ti o ba ni ilopo meji dance oyi when the enemy is waiting for you at the right you will surface on the left amen igba to ta ba gegun sowo otun owo osi ni wa gba jade if they are planning for you in the morning you will surface in the evening don ba je pe aro ni won ni won pe te bi fun o ale ni wa to de but the one i like most hey. about that story of the mockers eyi ti o wa re wa julo ninu itan awon ti won fi se leya yi is that Elisha just went on and continued to perform miracles. O Elisha kan koja lo nti e o si sise iya nu ni the bald head didn't grow. Irun irun to ori to ti pa o pada wurun. The handicap as it were. Ohun to da bi u pe ko to ninu aye re yen did not stop him from going higher. Ko da duro we ko boya ko je ko lo si iwaju ni bi t'olorun ni ko lo for example in exodus chapter 4 ni fun apere ninu exodus ori ikerin ah thank you father hallelujah lord help me to tell some specifically olorun ni kin so fun eyan kan ni pato he said in less than 2 years from now we like ki odun meji o to pe si gbata wa yi there will be no sign left that your family had ever suffered ko ni si apere mo wipe ejiyari ninu iran yin in exodus chapter 4 from verse 10 to 12 iwe exodus ori kerin bere lati ese ke wa de ikijila moses told god moses so fun oluwa I am a samara. Pe akololo ni mi. How can you send me to Pharaoh? Ba wo lo se fe kin lo si odo Pharaoh. I been stammering before I met you. Mo ti aha mi ti wuwo kin to ba o. Now I've met you the hand the, the mouth is still stammering. Mo tun ba o pade tan ha mi o yi pada. God says who cares. Olorun wa ni ki lo kan mi pa yen. The time I finish with you you become a god to pharaoh wa di olorun si pharaoh everything that have been hindering you gungo yo wu ko ti ma di olowo everything that have been hindering your testimony gungo to tin di eri re lowo oh it will be gone tonight amen olorun a pari ise na lori won la le yi Some of you remember the testimony of I mean the, the elders here will remember the testimony of one of our midwives. Awon agba tin be ni wa ranti eri okan lara awon aya agbe bi wa 100% illiterate. Yan ti o de lewe ri can speak a word of English. Ko le fi di go ko o she was in the maternity center alone. O wa wa ninu ile igbe bi 
and a woman came to deliver. She can't speak a word of Yoruba. So the midwife said, what am I going to do now? <laughs> am I going to communicate so with this woman? Nobody else is around. He said, oh God, over to you. Turn to the woman. And wanted to tell her by signs. Over for what's <laughs> often pay more I will try with my hand to tell you what to do. As she turned to her, she began to speak English. Fluent English. But the following morning, Delivery are taking place. All is now well. Other people had come. And she couldn't speak English anymore. <laughs> Everything that has been hindering you, the double portion will roast them now. Amen. <laughs> And then, let you know, even more importantly, the double portion is double because portion one is to take care of your problem. Portion two is to turn you to a blessing. You will now become a blessing to many. You become what they call a go-to person. For help. For help. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. The Lord asked me to tell somebody. The people who promise you to help, I want who to promise want, to help you, I want to want she, lady, pe, one man, no, lo, wo, I've been telling you, want to want, wo, we are busy now, we are busy now. Uh, wo, wo, ju, wo, ju, wo, si, si. God asked me to tell you, Olo, ron, ni, kin, sof, wo, ignore them. Back, be, one. I will help you myself. Amen. In 2 Kings chapter 3. 2 Kings chapter 3. From verse 9 to 20. 2 Second Kings 3, 9 to 20. Some kings have problems. And they came to Elisha. When they ran into a problem, one of them said, Is there no prophet in the land? But he won't call you Dogodi. He can't want to be a question. I want to say amen to this one. The Lord says, because my arms are everlasting arms, I will keep lifting you up forever. Amen. In Second King chapter three, you want back a jury keta. Thank you, Lord, dear Jesus. Lord, and, and I'm saying Amen to this fact. Back on any monster, I'm telling you. Daddy says, Daddy, we pray the siege against all your children. It's over now. Amen. 
Daddy we pay go go ye hammer at his demo to do you go by woman like butter butter the long to move around to see and mark my word a key is your army daddy says the one who is planning a siege against your children will die Amen. Daddy, so we pay any ton ton dana i hammer fun a one more re e mi a re lo ma fi di po e. Ah, this is getting interesting. Amen. This is this is story. This is story. It an kwa kwa that some of you have heard before. It is di eni no yisi bori. You know. We're having a program at Ebutemeta. And the word of God came. That there was a lady in the congregation. That the mother is the one behind and not getting married. So, God said that. Uh, that mother, if she doesn't change, will die within a week. But see, yah, you know, our own people are down. Who die one way? I pull her in your jammy jay. The following day, I was in my office. I just came from Berlin office. Me, when one lady came in, you guys see, I don't remember her. Can't walk away. With the mother, I see my mother. The mother was furious. Yam pino. Are you the pastor? Say what you are, Lufana. I say yes, ma. You are the one who said that we die. I said I, I didn't say anything like that. I said that's what my daughter said. You say. Ah. Uh, I said go. Did I, <laughs> did I mention anybody's name? What did I say? So the girl repeated the word of God. I said, Mama, don't mind this girl. I didn't mention anybody's name. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So she said, Is that so? I said, Yes, Mama. He said, He said, In that case, girl, you go out. Oh, I let you only come and come up here. She went out. And then she turned to me. Oh, what could you see me? Uh, that thing which you said. Is it true? Ah. Mama, it's not you. And as God lives. Any mother standing in the way of the daughter's marriage will die within a week. And well, the point is that she's the one looking after me. Oh, don't you me. And if she marries now, who will take care of me? To bawa loli o kotan tani o mato ju me. What kind of mama is this? But iru ya wole ni. You married before you can give back to her. No, Barack Obama she fell be ruined. Now you want to stop her from having her own family. Oh, I ni pe o ni jeko lock out here. Kori lewo. Anyway, she released. She did whatever she needed to do. Oh, she onto yeko she. And the daughter got married within six months. Oh, man, now they lolly or kola and you should make far. Now the reason why God asked me to tell you that story. He did tell her on finiki in story to yeko ye. As God lives. Be alone with him, bela ye. If there's anybody standing in the way of my daughters, that's not allowing them to be married, that fellow will not see the new year. Amen. Amen. I didn't plan to tell stories tonight. No, neither will I. This story is not going to be like you. But Daddy is speaking. Oh, Baba, 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 Baba
Some of you will remember this story. A young man. Always doing very well in his place of work. When it's time for promotion, they will forget him. And then the word came. When we were in the very first auditorium. I said, there's someone here. Somebody Somebody close to you is about to die. Don't sorrow. Because uh, it has to be moved out of the way for you to make progress. The following week. Lost to tell the father of the young man died. The boy got rapid promotions. I, I decree now. In the name that's above every other name. Anyone hindering your progress. Because of the double portion of anointing. That fellow will not see the new year. But very quickly, very quickly. The second, the double portion. Portion one is to take care of your problem. The second portion is to make you a barrier, uh, a blessing. Because you will suddenly become a yoke destroyer. Uh, when you read Second King chapter two, you read Second King chapter two, from verse nineteen to twenty-two. Second Kings two nineteen to twenty-two. The people of Jericho came to Elisha. And they told him, sorry sir, we have a problem in our city. You know the rest of the story. In less than one hour. Lie to Wakatikan. The problem of the city was over. The problem in all your cities. By the time you get home. And you make a decree. The problems will be over. In 2 Kings chapter 4. Ninu we o ba keji ori ikerin from verse 1 to 7 Bere lati ese kini de ikeje Second Kings 4 from verse 1 to 7 O ba keji ori ikerin ese kini de ikeje When there was a widow who was destitute Angba ti a ri obirin opo eyi to di wo to je gbese By the anointing the double portion anointing that was on Elisha Nipa ilopo meji o fa mi roro yan tin be lori Elisha yi the Yoke of poverty was destroyed. Some of you have heard this one before. The woman came to us. Completely destitute. We prayed for her. And when she was going back, she said, Man of God, I know I'm the one who is supposed to bring you a gift. But I don't even have money to transport myself back. So I said, What are you saying? He said, Unless you give me money, I can't go back. So I took the little I had. And I made it. Announcement. I gave her the money. I said, This money will never finish. That was uh, June or something. By August, she came here bringing a big cow for the convention. The money has never finished. 
in the name that's above every other name. Whatever money you have left, we never finish. With the double portion of anointing, you have that anointing that makes you a yoke destroyer. That can destroy the yoke of barrenness. You know, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in all our churches, Barrenness is going to be totally forgotten. Amen. In 2 King chapter 4, from verse 8 to 17, 2 Kings 4, from verse 8 to 17, you know the story of the Shunammite woman. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. The Almighty God is saying to somebody, He said, Because my name is I am that I am. I will make sure your success story lasts a thousand years. Amen. Mari that you pay it on she your yo wow man so that you know they run for a bear or do amen oh lord amen daddy says daddy we pay I will arise for you tonight. And every opposition to your destiny will be scattered. And anyway, the anointing of Elisha destroyed the yoke of barrenness in this Shunammite woman. If I'm your Roro, you know, Elisha, T. Lopomeji, Osi Jaja, Jaga, I Roma Binino, Arabini, Ara, Shunemu, in Second King chapter five, you know, go back to the Urikanu, from verse one to fourteen, as the Kinney day, Ikenila, Second Kings five, from verse one to fourteen, go back to the Urikanu, as the Kinney day, Ikenila, the double portion anointing on Elisha, if I'm your Roro, you know, Lopomeji, Lori, Elisha, yeah. Destroy the yoke of reproach in the life of Naaman. Ajagaitiju, atino aye namani of odionti e four two two. But probably the most significant, uh, which I I can't dodge. We are itu jek shek pataki tingo ti ele fujufu. Is that the double portion anointing can outlast you? You know, in Second Kings chapter 13, from verse 14 to 21, Second Kings chapter 13. I'm claiming this for all of you. Amen. Because God is saying there is someone here tonight. The coming year will be a year of continual celebration for you. Amen. 
yo je odun ayo ti ko lope fun o okay maybe we maybe we'll just let god do the rest amen because daddy says there's someone here he said you will understand daddy so pe ni kan be ni so ye pe ti mo fe so yi o yi o that raven shaking the throne of heaven pe o ti bere si ni mi ide orun crying to him to sin ki gbe pe open this door oh lord she let ku yi oluwa she let ku yi oluwa that may joy my joy may be full ki ayo mi ki o le kun god help me to tell you olorun ni kin so fun o before the sun rises ki o ro to yo the door will be wide open amen amen ile kun na yo si gbalaja Anyway, Elisha was sick. Elisha said so. Even when he was on his deathbed, he was decreeing what will happen to a nation. O si npa ase ohun to ma sele si orile ide. His anointing lasted. If I'm a roro yan re it didn't become an ex prophet his character was not soiled his good name was maintained and even when he died his bones still raised the dead ngba to ku gan tan egungun egan to ji oku dide i decree to every one of us here tonight mo wa pa se fun gbogbo awa tin be ni loni you will end well amen o ni rare ko to ku you will end strong wa si pari e ni daada pelu agbara even after you are gone lay it over ti lo tan people will get answer to their prayers awon eyan o ri adura won won ri da nsa adura won gba by calling on your god ni pa pipe olorun to nsin let me get out of the way so that god can do what he wants to do e je nkuro olorun ki olorun le se on to fe se how comes the question ibere kan wa wa who can get the double portion tale ni na to le ri ilopo meji gba of anointing titi if i may roro yan the double portion you are going to get tonight is not of the anointing on elijah ye ilopo meji to fe ri gba lale ke se ti ilopo meji ti if i may roro yan ti elijah is going to be the double portion of the anointing on the lord jesus christ o nsi ni ilopo meji if I'm a rolling on to Jesus Christ to Luwa, who can get it? Can they reap back one? A koko. It has to be somebody who is faithful to the end. Oh no, ni eni to jolo toti ti do kwen. Faithful to his father to the end. Go jolo toti ba barre ti ti do kwen. I always shake my head in sorrow. You know, mi man ba jai mo si man miri. When somebody who had been a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God will come to me. Nigba ti eni to ti je olusu agun ton ni jo irapada wa wa ba mi pe God has given me a vision to go and start my own ministry. Olorun ti fun mi ni iran pe kin wa lo bere temi. I say yes sir. Mani be ni sir. And you will always remain my father I say yes sir Eni pe baba mi le si ma je titi la ma ni be ni Congratulations sir E ti un sir ko ri re sir o Me I shake hand with a new geo Re kin bo yin lowo yin baba wa ninu oluwa tuntun Faithful to the end Ije olo to titi de opin 
That's what Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 says. Revelation 2 verse 10 says, Then I heard the there has to be somebody who is single-minded. Elisha didn't say, uh, give me this and then this. No, 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 just one thing. Elisha was talking to you for a little bit on your conscience. There has to be somebody who is focused. He knows what he wanted. Oh, and he fair. knew what he wanted. He, oh, Mount of Fair. People have asked me again and again. I want yet to be a lower mini back to Paul. When all manners of people begin to criticize, some of them even claim to be prophets. I want me to let so people will leave. I want. And he said, I better to know the truth about this matter. Why don't you talk? Why waste your energy? When you know where you are going. Why don't you talk? The elders have a say. You know, there is this uh, vegetable they call bitter leaf. I'm a pay a for combat to one queen, you would very bitter. Oh, coral. That's why they call it bitter leaf. It is one of you, Pele Wuroni, or coral be war. And then there is another one that is called sugar cane. But you mean, Tom Betty and Queen, Eric, eh? The elders have a say. I want a bamman so by you, pay. They said the same rain. Ojo Toro, Ojo Kana, that fell on bitter leaf. Toro, Lori Ewuro, is the one that fell on sugar cane. Oh no, Loro, Lori Ereke. Some people are made to be bitter. I want to come better than we ikoro la ye wan wa fun. Some are made to be sweet. I want to come better than we adoniti wan. Which one is your choice? E wo ni tiye, e kwi tiye o. Bitter leaf or sugar cane? Someone said to me, What I don't like about you, I, I like your sermons. What I don't like about you is when you begin to say there is someone here. And you are always saying good things. I said, for example, I said, you said there's someone here who will never weep again. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't like about you is to say I can only say what God asked me to say. I can only say what God asked me to For the rest of your life, you won't know sorrow. Amen. Oh, Nima Iba Nuje. I told him, you go ahead, go and be prophesying death and destruction. But what you want to say, what you say, man, so tell you, Nick Party, you cool at you, Panu. That's not the one God gave me. Oh, Tolan, Roy, me call you. I can only say what he says. Oh, Tolan, Rumba, so you call him, man, so. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You look on that, Jesus Christ. All of those of you are genuinely my children. Oh, baby, it's a job, man, me need to talk. It shall be well with you. Amen. Yo, that are for you. But almost more than anything else, the one who's going to get the double portion must be focused. He knows what he wants. And we do whatever it takes to get it. I visited the country not too long ago. And then there was a group of people who were 
talking. I want to one sorrow. The partner, the partner to discuss. I want be cocon to one sorrow. And they were saying, "What we pay?" Young people are no longer coming to church. I want or don't want. What's the late just in their own country. Ni lose one long. I said, I said I heard you, but I don't know. And they gave reasons. Once he saw this, he said they said that they love the message, but they don't like the messengers. Only one fellow is sharing on shares of one, one tea, a fisher on you all fair. I said, I see. Oh, then so, Murillo. Those people don't have purpose. Do you come to church because of the pastor? And they said, no, um, you know, some of the pastors now are old fashioned. God is old fashioned. His name is ancient of days. He has nothing against the old ones. And they said they, they like to go to new generation churches. I said, that's okay as long as uh, they will get to heaven. He said, because the, the younger ones, they speak their language. I said, that's good. But there's only one language that I know that God speaks. <laughs> that's the language of the Holy Spirit. The language of power. And I know that when it comes to tongues, <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you are old or you are young. Oh, if you say, "Boy, I look good," you ought to be old. Ramoko shenke, Ramaka kate, Ramoko shanda. As at the same power in the mouth of the old as well as in the mouth of the young. Iruak baratin beni no enoti agba. No ni bele no amade. Then they say, oh, <laughs> the younger ones, they are radical. Okay, I don't even know what is called radicality. Ask about me. They will tell you. When I wanted to start modern parishes in Lagos, I started using hotels. When I ran out of hotels, I started using uh, nightclubs. Uh, my friend said that uh, I was backsliding. How can you be holding church services in nightclubs? I said, Nightclubs are always empty on Sunday morning. I wrote your Sunday. Okay, see, I want to enjoy the room. I bet those who come there to drink, they are sleeping at home. I want to walk my mountain road run. I want Benle. I want to surf. So the place is empty, ready for use. I bet now she show for all the low. And they say that uh, alcohol, the uh, alcohol. I need to go. Oh, go go roam around. Let them be. I said. Uh, <laughs> Another name for alcohol is uh, spirits. We go there in the morning and ask the only spirit to chase out the other spirits. I was a quick year, Mimi Mokoli and me, Gogoro Jade. And souls were getting saved. Yes, in me, I'm going to work on and I told, I told my, those who are uh, beginning to put pressure on me. I want you to see five man Jamilenu most of them. I told them I, I, I've not even reached where I'm going. I said, I'm going to be looking for imams. Where my man, one Muslimi. 
who will agree with me that uh, they can use my church on Friday and allow me to use their mosque on Sunday. Don't tell me you know the meaning of radicalism. <laughs> Let me make it clear to those of you. We say, I can sit down at home and watch every sermon on television. It means you don't know where you are going. You have no focus at all. Why go to church? I can listen to all sermons on YouTube. God commanded it. He said, You must not forsake the assembly together of one another. That's one. Two. He says, Iron sharpened iron. Three. The bigger the fire, the hotter. When we gather together and we shout hallelujah, the noise so, is so much that the devil is frightened. Hallelujah. And when I sit down at home and they ask us to shout hallelujah, I can shout too. Who's going to hear you? Sit down at home. Drinking tea. Saying you are watching the sermon on, on, on YouTube or whatever too. you. And you grow cold. Little by little. Yeah, yeah. By the time the word of God that has to do with your case comes. At the time you want to say amen. There is tea in your mouth. Instead of amen, it's going to be on. When the Almighty God wants to send a word to you directly, you've gone to the toilet. And before you know it, go to little by little. Yeah, yeah. You become cold. When the when the devil wants to bring down a big man of God. It, it doesn't do it. Suddenly, it will leak your tank a drop at a time. A drop at a time. I, I thank God for those of you who are here tonight. As you shout your next hallelujah, every yoke in your life will be destroyed. Hallelujah! That brings me, that brings me to the conclusion. We are going to pray a very, very violent prayer before we leave here tonight. The one who wants a double portion must be ready for a new beginning. Brand new beginning. When Elisha woke up that morning, he didn't know that his life was about to be changed forever. He was, was ready. But if 
We want a brand new beginning. To ba fe ibere otun. It has to start with salvation. We only let it be like when we bala. And I mean genuine one. It be it bala to to muna do konyo. Not the kind of salvation that you say you are coming for and you are laughing. Ke se ru it bala to ja de fun to sin re ni e ye. Not the kind of salvation that you say you are coming for and you, all you want to do is go come and take the picture of the Jew. Ke se ru it bala to ja de si wa ju to ja kwe awuran. I'm talking of the kind of salvation. That even before you get to the altar, you've already said bye bye to all those who are your mates in sin. Because things will never be the same again after. Tonight. So those of you who want to give your life to Jesus Christ. And, and you really mean business. I'm going to count from 1 to 20. Because I can see some of you very far away. Before I say 20. Run forward. This is not an ordinary light night. This one is a night of all nights. So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, if you are ready for a new beginning, begin to come now. Run forward. As I count. One. Any. Two, A.G. Three, Eta. Four. Five Aaron Six F Seven AJ Eight Ejo Nine Esson Ten Ewa Eleven Okola Twelve Ejila Thirteen Etala Fourteen Erila Fifteen Arundi Logun Sixteen 
Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Now those of you are still on the way, hurry up now. Those of us who are already in front, let's cry to the Almighty God. Lord, save my soul. Help me. I'm ready for a brand new beginning. A new beginning in you. Let your blood wash away my sins. Let me become a true child of the living God today. I promise you I will serve you for the rest of my life. Cry unto the Almighty God. And please, the rest of us, let's stretch our hands to our new brothers and sisters and intercede for them. You're the one who saved our own souls. We saved their own souls also. Pray for them, brethren. Pray for them. And if there's anyone still on the way, you better come now because I'm about to pray. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I can see one or two of you. Cry to him, Lord, save my soul. Give me genuine salvation. I don't want to have anything to do with the devil anymore. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Keep coming, keep coming. I can see you. I know you've been running and you are now tired, but. Just keep coming. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye, In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father and my God, I want to bless your name. I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for those who have come forward tonight to surrender their lives to you. Father, please receive them. Have mercy on them. Let your blood wash away their sins. Please save their souls. Receive them into the family of God. From now on, anytime they cry unto you, please answer them by fire. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, I rejoice with those of you who have come forward. Uh, I want to promise you from now on I'll be praying for you. And so I'm going to need your names, your address, and your prayer requests. The counselors will give you a card. Please fill it very quickly. Return to them. And then you can go back to your seat. And we will be in contact with you. God bless you. All right, and the rest of us, 
How are you cool? We can keep on worshiping God. Why we wait for these uh, new brothers and sisters to finish?
be praying in the next minute or two. Like I want you to keep in mind that the day that Elisha got a double portion there were many sons of the prophets they all knew something was going to happen but only one fellow got the double portion You're going to pray like you've never prayed before. I've told you before. One day on this camp, around this time, between 2 and 3 a.m., I was alone walking up and down in the jungle. The only people who were on the camp with me were the carpenters. And I cried to God. Because I know what I want. Cry to him. I said that it's you empower me or take me home. I said, I was minding my business as a lecturer. When you called me. You so said you have a different destiny for me. I need the power. You said that you give it to me. Oh, take me home. And God heard. In the ground of this ground campground shook. He lets him be. There was a little earthquake. Some of you will remember. Pictures hung on the wall in places like Jebu de Shagamu were falling down. Because nobody will believe it's just one man praying. I have a question for you. Why are you here? What do you want out of this Congress? What is it you want? I want to hear you. I didn't hear. I'm not sure I heard you. The next question is, when do you want it? Are you sure? Then stand on your feet and cry to the Almighty God. Elisha didn't murmur. He cried, My father, my father, cry to God. Jesus, 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 give me the double portion. 
of your power now not tomorrow tonight oh Lord. cry unto him let him hear your voice just for about 10 minutes cry unto him Jesus 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 Jesus, Jesus. Hear my cry tonight. Cry am my cry tonight. Give me a double portion of your spirit. That's why I came. Lord. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm at this Congress. I want a double portion, Lord. A double portion of your power. Double portion of your Holy Spirit. And I want it now. My Father, my God, I want a double portion of your Spirit now. I don't know about others. I am here alone before you. Jesus. 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 Give me a double portion of your spirit. Now. This very moment. Give me a double portion of your spirit.
thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Just sit down, remain an attitude of worship. Please note that your prayers should continue. And there are some things we need to do quickly. Before I do what God asked me to do. First, we have Holy Communion. Then, let you know, the pastors will come and, we'll and anoint all of us. We'll now, for those of us who have been coming every night, it was anointing on Wednesday. I if I'm a reunion, I was anointing yesterday. It's going to be another one today. And you begin to wonder why are we coming? You begin to wonder why. I want to be in the Quick, you know, David said in Psalm 23. David, David is telling you, we're David, you're in Ketali, Logan, that's five. Where I say, Karu, you prepare a table before me. You want to tell me, you just say, anyway, you mean. In the presence of my enemies, thou anointed my head with oil. Was it And my cup runs over. I go David was anointed three times. After David meta. And today, Loni, we still call Jesus Christ the Son of David. As in Jesus Christ, of my David. I rejoice with those of you who have already got true anointing. And you're about to get a third one. But just stay in an attitude of prayer. This service is not over yet at all. There's something about to happen. Oh, in the name that's above every other name. There'll be a spiritual earthquake here today. Amen. Pastors, please can we go ahead with the Holy Communion? Serve the people. Once they give you the bread, as soon as I give the go ahead, you eat. Ni to ba ti fun yin ni akara, ni kete ti ba ti fun yin ni ase eleje. And just keep on with your prayer. Ese ma gba adura yin na si waju sin. They give you the wine. Baba fun yin ni wine. When I give the go ahead, that ti ba fun yin ni ase we drink. A o jo mu papo. Continue with our prayer. I think but then we will have a little Thanksgiving service. I also need a And then, then you know, we will round up. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and serve them the bread. Serve the people the bread. And the wine. At your wine. 
Wait till I give the go ahead before you eat. Emati ma je o eduro kin so fun yin ke to ma je. Have to wait. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. That's what. The very night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You eat the bread and continue with your prayers. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will. Wives, my and it dries up my the blood that gives me strength from day to Yeah. 
it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley oh the blood that gives me strength from
There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. Oh, there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, there is power mighty in the blood, in the blood, there is power mighty in the blood, in the blood, there is power mighty. In the power in the Lord, oh power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power mighty in the blood, power in the blood, there is power. Mighty in the power to heal, power to save, power to set free. It's in the blood. Oh, in the power in the blood. Mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power, there is healing power in the blood. There is healing power in the blood. There is healing power in the blood, power in the blood. There is healing power in the blood, power in the blood. There is healing power in the blood. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not been served bread, shout hallelujah. Oh. Enitiye ubati iriya karagba eki hallelujah. Quite a crowd, don't you? What happened? Pastors, please help us. If you have not been served the wine, please shout hallelujah. Ah, the same people. And you see wine you buy it, you don't eat hallelujah. Please let all pastors go there. Go, go there with bread and wine. As many of us as possible. And in the old auditorium, if you have not been served bread and wine in the old auditorium, you will, you will shout and wave your hand so that the pastors can come to you.
eyin nu gbangan atijo ti e o ba ti ri bread tabi akaragba atabi wine e jowo yin soke ki e si ki haleluya okay looks as if they've, they've settled the people in the oh that is true good so let's let's have one more one more song while we are trying to the people to the my blood left the blood of jesus the blood of jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow oh, the blood of jesus set me free oh the blood of jesus the blood of jesus set me free from sin and sorrow the blood of Jesus set me oh the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow the blood of Jesus set me free The blood of Jesus set me free from sin, from sin. Oh, the blood of Jesus set me free. Oh, double portion, it's mine right now. I have the double portion of power. The blood of Jesus set me free. Oh, from sin and sorrow, the blood. I have been set free from sin, from slavery, from poverty. The blood of Jesus set me. I am free indeed. Oh, oh, the blood of Jesus set me. I am free. I am healed. I have been delivered. Yes, the blood of Jesus. Set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. Victory is mine. Victory is mine through the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. Oh, the blood, oh, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, has set me free. Oh, the blood of Jesus, victory is mine, victory is mine through the blood of Jesus, the Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrows, the blood of Jesus. I have been made whole through the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. From sin and sorrows, Jesus said, Power in the blood. Healing in the blood of Jesus, yes. the blood of Jesus set me free oh, from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus. No more chain is holding me down. No chain is holding you down anymore. Yes, the Jesus set us free from sin. The blood of Jesus. Whom the Son of God is set free, you are free indeed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Your Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The Jesus set me free. 
if we still have not been served either bread or wine, please shout hallelujah. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, pastors. Now, when you drink the wine tonight, you will shift your prayer just a little bit. And cry to God. That the heavens will open unto you tonight. Because the heavens opened unto Elisha. The horses of fire. The chariots of fire. Came from heaven. We will cry that the heavens will open unto you tonight. That's the prayer you pray after drinking the wine. We are drying anyway, but let it about more wine in autumn. And I think we better pray that prayer standing. Oh, my Dara, Kia Badrano, Lori Duro. After the same manner, also, he took the cup. Gabriel, you see, more go. When he has sought saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as soft as a drinking in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the fire hope. Tonight. Let the heavens open to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let the heavens open to me tonight. In a manner that I will never forget. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please be seated. We're moving steadily to the climax now. Now we go to the anointing service. The pastors will come. They will line up in front. And then you go to them and get anointed. And when they anoint you, just keep on crying to God. This is my night, O Lord. This is my night. It's you and I tonight, Lord. Open the heavens. I want double portion tonight. So we go ahead now and do the anointing. Just like the prophet says, this is the day of the light of rain. God is moving in his power again. Oh, by the anointing, Jesus breaks the is not by might. Not by part, oh, 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 by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by part, that is not by might, oh, yes, by my spirit,
fini bono wa o Wow, 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 I want to roll, I want to ratio, and me alone. Wow, 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 and me alone. Wow, 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 Please, if you have not yet been anointed, could you kindly shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Where are the same people? Or another direction they say. Uh, if they have not anointed you, please run forward. Run forward very quickly. 
ti o ba ti tan ba ti fi emi roro kan ri re sare wa si waju kia kia we we'll give you only 2 minutes afun yin ni seju meji pere the rest of us who have been anointed awa yoku ti won si fi emi roro yan wa we are going to do something before the final thing God wants us to do. Because the last thing we will be doing, I, I wouldn't want to stop you. So let's take our thanksgiving offering very quickly. Let's, let's get that one out of the way. Let's, let's say thank you to God for all he has done since the beginning of the convention of the Congress and at this time those of you who will want to help with the issue of the turbine this is the time to uh, write your names and and how we can contact you and then drop it in the offering basket. Or if you want to contact me any other way, but it has to be immediately as as immediately as possible and they will probably show you on the screen the account to which the money can go but let's let's get our offering ready thanksgiving offering very quickly and then um, as a band will keep on ministry you yeah. just keep praying even as you go to the nearest basket you just remain in an attitude of worship over to you, Bandy. You blessed you holy, and forever you are God. We bless you, Lord, you are holy, and forever you are God. Oh, we bless you, Lord.
Thank you. Yes, you. Now we come to the crucial moment. Uh, when when Elisha received the double portion. Elisha the Bible repeated it again and again. He picked up the mantle that fell from Elijah. And he prosecuted about three times. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I want to prepare you for what is about to happen. To those who are moving around, settle down now. Several years ago, I was at the first auditorium. God told me Alone to for me to wear seven agbadas. He knows I don't like agbada. He asked me to wear seven. If I don't know his voice, I will say, what kind of joke is this? But I obeyed him. He asked me to dance for five minutes. I did. Then he asked me to spread the agbadas across the altar. I asked me to tell those who are present there. Then they were to come and touch any of the Agbadas. And the anointing of God will go into them and solve their problems. He told them to touch, not to hold. But 
Well, one man thought if touching is going to solve problems. And the camera will be so bad that we can't afford one bank and tell you about my time. So, he said he had many problems. So, he wasn't going to touch, he was going to hold. For confess for what bad, tell you, you can't afford the money. As he grabbed one of their brothers, the power of God grabbed him and began to shake him. Like a dog shaking a rat. At that time, I left the place by 8 a.m. Went to my prayer room. By 5 p.m., they came to knock at my door. Because the power of God was still shaking this man and he was about to die. I had to go and pray because he was released. What I'm about to do tonight is what I heard God say. If it is childish to you, please don't participate. Whatever piece of cloth that you want anointed, you put it at your feet. The Lord had asked me to remove my jacket, to lift it up to him. While you are watching, and I'm to pray for certain minutes, and then drop it. My feel my juicy Ask me to tell you that as I drop it, they only suffer more baby machine juicy you will cry, Jesus, seven times. Then you pick whatever you have dropped on the ground. And please, for God's sake, don't joke with what you are about to pick from the ground. It will be saturated with anointing. Don't give it out. You can use it on people. But don't give it out. Don't let it leave your hand. Now please, whatever you want anointed, Put it at your feet now. You see, it's a rainy And then stand. But what did they do? If it is an handkerchief, put it at your feet. This is best rare. If it's a shirt, go back to Ashoni. If it's your headgear, it must be a piece of cloth. Okay. I, I hope I hope I've made myself clear. Mm -hmm. You can keep on saying amen while I pray. And focus on this piece of cloth now. 
Because as it goes down, to pick what you put between your feet and cry Jesus seven times. And then I will tell you what to do next. Thank you, Father. Father, I have done what you asked me to do. Baba I hereby decree all those who believe receive the double portion. Amen. Amen. Receive the double portion. 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 Amen. Egbai Loko Meji. Receive the double portion. Amen. Egbai Loko Meji. Receive the double portion of the Spirit of Jesus. Amen. Egbai Loko Meji and Mio Loro. Now lay that piece of cloth on your own head now. And begin to decree. Decree that every Jordan will open. That everything that could want to stand between you and your destiny will be 
broken in pieces. Ki go 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 to ba fe dro laarin iwo ati ayanmo re ki Olorun o fo won tutu ki o fo won danu. That all your mockers will be silenced. Go go won ti fi o se leya ki won o da ke je. That you will become yoke destroyer. Be ni wa si di eni to fo awon ajaga. Destroy yokes of curses. Yokes of poverty. Yokes of poverty. Yokes of barrenness. Yokes of reproach. And from now on, you will be a blessing. Destroy. Yokes. Don't judge a Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Keep that dress on your head. Father, I want to thank you for this great Congress. Thank you for all you have done. Glory be to your holy name. Please accept the offering of your children. Let poverty become a stranger to them. As they go from here, Carrying a double portion of your anointing. Use them to perform miracles. Lord God Almighty. Your children will be asking you now. For a Christmas present. Whatever they ask you. Give to them speedily. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being my God. Thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for establishing your word. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Now for as long as we want. Talk to God. Ask him for whatever you want for Christmas. And then prophesy to yourself. Prophesy to your future. After you are satisfied, then you can go home thanking him. And the ministers of God, 
you are released also. And you know, the man, baby, Lord. Go ahead now. Ask God for your Christmas presents. Prophesy to yourself. Now that the anointing is still fresh. Now that the anointing is still fresh.